Happy New Year, one and all, from all of us here at WSKI TV 17. Our forecast brought to you year-round by 45 North Restaurant in the Sugarloaf Mountain Hotel, serving breakfast and dinner every single day of the year. And remember to see this forecast also at our website, WSKITV.com, anywhere, anytime. And for Tuesday, the second day of 2018, minus 9 to minus 5 at the top of the mountain, minus 2 to plus 2 at the base. Winds still a little bit noticeable out of the west-northwest. Turning around to the west in the afternoon, we will see partly sunny skies, which certainly does help to have the sun out there warming things up a little bit. On Wednesday, things will be warming up quite a bit with double digits at the base of the mountain. 11 to 15 will seem balmy, in fact, 4 to 8 at the summit. Southwest winds bringing in those slightly warmer temperatures and we'll have partly to mostly sunny skies on Wednesday. So that could be the pick of the week. Although Thursday is not looking too bad either with nice temperatures, 18 at the base, 10 at the top and a light snow in the forecast. So prepare to put the goggles in the pocket and head out for a little bit of fresh on Thursday. Friday and Saturday cooling back down again. We'll have partly sunny skies, but once again, looking at temperatures in the minus both at the top of the mountain and at the base. So don't put your hands and warmers away yet. Birchwood Interiors brings you our trail conditions for Tuesday. 106 trails and trail sections. 35 will be groomed overnight. Pack powder hard pack. That's the conditions out on the hill. The snow is staying in fine shape. That's one good thing about cold temperatures. Lower Timberline, Bridal Chain, Tote, Kings, Hayburner, Comp Hill, Gage, Sluice, Lower Winter's Way, Candyside Boardwalk, The Landing, and Birches are all on the groomers list tonight. Those are the center mountain trails, including the base area learning areas. Ram down Wiffle Tree 2 Hall on the east side and Scoot on the west side, also on the groomers list of things to do on this evening of January 1st. Snowmakers still taking a little bit of time off, but Tuesday morning they're going to be back at it and they'll head towards the terrain parks, trying to get more snow for haywire and stomping grounds. 8.30 is when you'll find startup time for Snubber, Sawduster, and Skidway on Tuesday morning. Muscalator to follow at 9 o'clock as needed. Double Runner Longside will run at 8.30. We do have a few racers in town, so good luck to all of them. Hope they can stay nice and warm. That is why we will be running the long side of Double Runner. Super Quad and Skyline, also good to go on Tuesday morning at 8.30. Timberline still supposedly on the docket to start up at 9 o'clock, but given the temperatures once again, I would say we might be taking a rain check on Timberline until things warm up on Wednesday. King Pine and Whiffletree over on east side, they should both be good to go at 9 o'clock. We do have awesome skiing everywhere on the hill, but on a cold day, I prefer to head down to the flats where you find cross-country skiing a great way to get your blood going and keep yourself warm. There's 60 kilometers of excellent conditions at the outdoor center to be had. Snowshoeing also available. The ice rink is open and fat biking. Also something you can do on trails 1, 31, and number 8. And remember, you can get up to Stratton and rent a sled. If you have your own, you probably already know this is one of the best early season starts to snowmobiling many people can remember. And that's because these cold temperatures freeze things up so you can cross streams and other small bodies of water that are normally unpassable this time of year. So snowmobilers, rejoice. WSKI is on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Always, we keep you in touch with what's happening everywhere throughout the main high peaks all year round. And if you want to see what's going on on the mountain, check out our camera. In real time or in time lapse, you can see what's going on. And right now, with the full moon, it is pretty phenomenal. So make sure you check it out.